Hey, Deets, what's wrong? You look upset. Uh, I'm just a little nervous, kind of scared. Oh, why? Because I'm supposed to talk to the kids today. Well, Deeds, that shouldn't be hard for you. You've talked for a few weeks now. Yeah, I know. I'm just nervous today. What if I forget what I'm supposed to say? What if... Well, what are you supposed to talk about? Peace. Peace? Yeah, peace. You know how it says in the Bible, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. That's great. You got the scripture right. Do you know what that means? Uh, that the Spirit has some peace grapes and Chiquita bananas and Granny Smith apples? No, silly. You know that wasn't it. Yeah, uh, but could you explain it to me once more? I I'm not sure if I have it right. Sure. Listen really close so you know what it is this time, okay? Okay, Miss Rhonda. When people become Christians, God's Spirit lives in them and guides them and shows them how to live. Yeah, and they learn from the Bible, too. That's right. The Bible is like our school book and the Spirit is our teacher. Yeah. So what's, what's all this stuff about fruit? Well, you expect an apple tree to make apples and a banana tree to make bananas, right? Right. Well, like the apple tree makes apples, a Christian shows the love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's right. The more we listen to God's Spirit teaching us, the more we act like he wants us to do. Oh, I think I understand really good now. Thanks. We're not quite done, are we? We're not? The peace part. Oh, yeah. The Bible also says, don't be anxious about anything. Rather, bring up all of your requests to God in your prayers and petitions, along with giving thanks. Then the peace of God that exceeds all understanding will keep your hearts and minds safe in Christ Jesus. Oh, good. T TMI, Miss Rhonda. My head is spinning. What does all this have to do with fruit anyway? It means, Deeds, don't get upset about things. Tell God about them, and God will stop your worries and give you peace. He is there through the hard times and the good times, and with Him, we can all be peaceful. So, I don't need to worry about talking to the kids about peace? Deeds, I think you just did. You mean we already did it? We sure did. Wow, that wasn't hard. Thanks for helping me. Sure. Hey, Deeds, tell us that scripture again from the Bible. Okay, but the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Great job, Deeds. So, as we're all facing hard times right now, we don't have to be scared or worried because if, if God is with us, then he provides us peace. Yeah, he gives us peace. That's right. Let's pray. Repeat after me, kids. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for the peace. Thank you for the peace. You provide it us in knowing. You provide us in knowing. That we don't have to be scared or worried. That we don't have to be scared or worried. Because you are with us. Because you are with us. In the good times and the hard times. In the good times and the hard times. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Have a good week, kids. Bye, kids.